Hey everyone, I'm Emma and welcome to my channel where I do leatherwork tutorial videos and in this video I'm going to show you how to hand stitch leather or rather how to do saddle stitch. So let's get right to the video. So these are called pricking irons and this is what I'm going to be using to do the stitching for one of the examples. Each of the little prongs are three millimeters apart. So they're quite small stitches but I think it looks nice but you can get wider ones. I'll have a link in the description to where you can get these exact ones from. I originally got them from eBay, these, these exact ones but they don't exist anymore so I found someone else who's selling them but they're on Aliexpress but I'll have the link down in the description for you guys um, if you don't want to use these because these are about hundred dollars Australian um, you can use one of these stitching wheels you it comes with four of these and so I'll be showing you how to stitch with this as well as the other pricking irons so here's the two sample bits of leather I've cut out for you guys to show you how to do the stitching. Okay, so these are the tools we're going to use to make our nice straight line on the leather. This one is my favorite. It puts a nice wide crease in the leather for the stitches. This one here, the wing divider is similar but the line it puts for the stitching line is a lot thinner and this one unlike the others that just push into the leather this one actually cuts out a small groove in the leather I'll, I'll do a quick demonstration so you can see what each one looks like now okay so I'm gonna start by using this edge creaser so I'm going to go all the way down the edge of this one. And then I'm going to do the back side of this one. And you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna just quickly measure um, five millimeters in from the end so that I get it even on both of the pieces of leather. Okay, now I'm gonna use these pricking irons starting from the mark that I made. And I'm just gonna go bang it all the way through the leather. And when you do this, you want to make sure that it's nice and straight, that it's not leaning to that side or to that side, that it's nice and straight. So you want to start from the last hole you made. So I'm going to put the pricking iron in that hole and then move it to there. And we're just going to keep going, making sure we put that pricking iron in the last hole from the last sequence, have it nice and straight. Now I like to use this nice big long one because it will make the stitches a lot straighter than if I used this two prong one. This two prong one's good for going around tight corners but that's all I use it for. From doing straight lines I use this one. So I've only got a little bit of stitching left to do. I'm just going to use this five one. So now that we've done this one, we're going to do the stitches for the back side. These holes I've already punched with the pricking iron will be slanted in the same direction on this side because if we did it on this side they would be slanting in the wrong direction and it would really totally mess up all the stitching that we're going to do later. So I'm going to start doing it on this side and it's going to be the same as we did here. I'll start from the mark we made earlier. Remember to hold the pricking iron nice and straight so it's not tilted in any direction. 
It's also got to go all the way through as well. So we'll put it back in the last hole. Put it back in the last hole. So we'll finish with this five prong one because that's all the room we've got left for. Okay, so these are going to match up nicely. See how they're slanting in the same direction on the back side and the front side? That's why we've got to do it on the flesh side. So to make this easier, I'm actually going to glue these two pieces together. Um, but I'm just going to set it up first and I'm going to do one row with the wing divider. And then I'm just going to make it bigger and do a second row. So I want to show you how to do it with both a round doll and a diamond doll. I'm going to measure five millimeters on both lines. So I'm set up, I'm going to run the stitching wheel down both of the lines. Now I'm just going to glue them both together. I'm going to use the leather craft cement. Now I'm just going to let it dry for a little while and we'll come back to it when it's dry. What I'm going to show you how to do is these are two different awls. This one's called a diamond awl and this one's called a round awl. On the top line I'm going to show you how to do the stitching using the diamond awl and the bottom line I'm going to show you how to do it using the round awl. I'm going to punch the holes um, now with the round awl and then I'll show you how you do it with the diamond awl later when we're actually doing the stitching. So I'll just punch these holes now for you guys. So we're going to go, we're pushing this all the way through to the other side, both layers of the leather. So I'm putting this round wool right on each of the little dots we made with the stitching roller. So you'll notice that these holes aren't super evenly spaced so that's why I like to use these pricking irons because they've got three millimeters between each one and it's just really nice and even you get a nice straight line and you'll know your stitches are all going to be the same distance from each other but doing it this way even though it is cheaper it's not going to look as good you'll see it later when I've sewn it up it will look all right but it won't look as good as the stitching we're going to use do with the pricking iron. I'll put them next to each other so you can see the difference. So you would have noticed that we haven't done anything with this bottom row. Yeah, that's because we're going to be using this diamond awl to make the holes, but we'll do it as we're stitching. So I'll show you that later. Okay, so I've cut myself a nice length of thread. It's a one millimeter braided white thread waxed and I've got some needles here I'm going to use these ones so you'll need two needles for this and you're going to put both needles on the same piece of thread one at each end okay so we've got the end of the thread here and we're going to put it through the eye of the needle so I'm just going to do that now okay now I pull it through the eye of the needle till it's about that long and we push the needle through the middle of the thread
Okay, so it goes through the eye of the needle and then the needle goes through the middle of the thread here. So now we pull it over where the thread goes through the eye of the needle. Okay, so now it's like this and now we're just going to pull it so it comes up to there. Okay, so now we're going to do the other end of the thread, remembering we're putting one needle at each end of the thread. I'll just quickly put this through the eye of the needle, make it that long, come back, put it through the middle of the thread, so it's like that, and then come and put it over that, and bring it up. Okay, as you can see, we've now got the thread with a needle at each end ready to go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open the first hole. Now, I'm actually going to use the roundel to do this, this one here, but most people would actually use this one. The reason I don't want to use this one is because even though that's the one you're meant to use, what tends to happen is you push it through a hole and it actually cuts the hole either at the top or at the bottom of that 45 degree angle. And so I actually just want to open up the hole, so that's why I use the round hole because the round hole isn't going to do that. So I'm going to push it through the first hole. It's going to go all the way through. See? So I'm going to push needle through the hole. Okay, now when we start, we want to make sure that we've got the leather in the middle of the thread. So I've got an even amount of thread coming out the holes on each side. Now we're going to open up the next hole with our round all. Now I do it starting towards me and going away from me. So using my right needle, I'm going to push it through the next hole that we've just opened with our round all and I'm going to get the needle that's in my left hand and I'm going to bring it behind the needle that we just pushed through and I'm going to grab it with my thumb and I'm going to pull it the rest of the way through. Now I'm going to, with my hands it's still like this, I'm going to flip it so it's like, so it looks like this and with the other needle I'm going to push it back through the hole but we're going to make sure we're going to make sure that it's sitting on top of the bottom thread so then we push it through and we grab the thread here and we push it round the needle like this so we'll pull that through and now we just get the needles and we pull them through like that. Now I like to do a back stitch. It's not necessary when you're doing it like this, but because when you get to the other end, you're going to do one. It looks more neater if you do one at this end. You don't have to, but it looks more symmetrical. So I'm just going to do that now. Push the needle through, grab it like that, pull it through then push this one through again making sure that it's on the top of the thread now I'm not going to wrap it around this time because that will make it not sit properly we'll just pull those through now I'm going to do the stitch forward again so we grab it like this thumb on top pull through flip the needles over go back through making sure it's on top and wind the thread around on the other side then we've done a back stitch we're going to open up the needle again with the round all going to push the needle through grab it with your thumb Turn it around, push it back through again, and wind around, pull the needle through, pull tight. 
Okay, I'll do a few more, but speed up this time. Open up the holes. I might do three at a time. Okay, I'll flip the camera so you can see what I'm doing on the other side. For the roundel, we open up the hole. Sorry, my hand's getting in the way. We might open up a few more holes. So with the needle, go through the hole. With the other side, we grab it, thumb, flip it, go back through the hole on top of the thread. See how it's on top of the thread, the thread's underneath the needle. So then what I'm doing on this side is I'm wrapping it this way over the needle. See, it's gone over the needle. And then what I like to do is I actually like to pull the thread just a bit because sometimes it can get stuck on the needle in the middle of the leather and that can be really annoying like really annoying and you've got to like undo it or maybe even start the whole stitching row again so I always just give it that little pull just so I know that the thread's not going to be stuck on the needle so I'm going to pull it through and you just pull it nice and tight like that okay again go through the hole pull it through Flip my hand with the needle, with the other needle, push the next needle through, go around like that, pull it through, pull through, grab, flip, through, around, pull, pull, and then big pull with threads. In this angle you'll be able to see both sides so put it all through put it through several holes push the right hand needle through grab it by the thumb on the other side pull through through round and another pull just to make sure it's not stuck and pull through like that. So we put this needle through the hole, grab it on this side, we come under from underneath, and you put the needle and then we grab it with our thumb and pull through and then flip it. So it's like this, and then flip. And we push it through this hole, and wrap the thread around, and pull the needle through, and then pull the threads like that. Push the needle through, grab it like with your thumb, turn it, push it through, go around and pull, and pull it through. And then we just keep going like that. Okay, so as we get to the end, I'm gonna do another one of those back stitches. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make the second last hole that second hole there, I'm just going to make that wide. So I'm going to go through that second last hole, same thing as before, push the needle through, grab it with the other finger and thumb, flip it over and come back through. Make sure it's not stuck, pull through and close. Then just with one needle we're just going to go through that last hole to the back side of it and we're just going to pull through and we're going to pull it all the way through and then with these threads we'll burn them off. I'm going to cut it about that far from the leather, I'll just show you that. Okay, so I'm just going to get my lighter, just going to burn those threads, go down, put my finger in some water and push down on them. Go. So now we'll move on to the other two examples. Okay, so I'm gonna start with doing this row that we've already punched with the, the round hole. So I've already threaded my needles. Pretty much the same as the other one, except we probably won't need to open up the holes with the round hole. 
make sure you've got an even amount of thread on each side and we'll do the back stitch like we did before but the stitch is just going to be the same for all three examples make sure the same again yep okay I'm just gonna make this hole bigger so I can do my back stitch so remember it's just the same as all the other stitches except when we come out this side we don't we don't do that we just leave it as it is okay and then we go back to normal so I might open that up because it's not going through Okay, so as I go along here, it's just going to be the same as the last stitches we've been doing. So go through, grab it with your thumb, flip it over, go back through, go around and pull. Pull the needle through and pull tight. So it looks like these holes will need opening up actually, they're a bit tight. Sometimes I just go along the whole length that I'm going to stitch and just open them all up at once. It's actually, sometimes it's actually just quicker to do it that way. Okay, so I'll just finish doing this and then I'll show you how to do the row of stitching with the diamond door blade. Okay, so now we're up to the last stitch so as we did on the last one we're just going to do a little back stitch so I'm going to make the hole wide there push it through and then just go through there and we will burn it off so like before, I just get the scissors and snip that off. Some water. So I know this was the stitching row that we're supposed to do for this part of the video, but I actually stuffed it up so bad when I was filming it that I decided to just do another one. Okay, we've got this diamond door we're gonna use for it bit hard to see but it's actually in the shape of a, a diamond and when we go through the holes we want to actually hold the blade at a 45 degree angle and to help get the angle what you can do is put some flat bits on your awl or you can just buy an awl with flat bits already and then you hold it with the flat bits at the 45 degree angle and that will help a lot so I'll just go ahead and punch the first hole with it there we go And as before, we'll go through the hole. And make sure you have an even amount of thread on each side. And punch the second hole. Make sure it's at a 45 degree angle. And when you bring it out, wiggle it, and then pull it out. That way the blade won't get stuck. As we did on the last one, I'm just going to come back and do a back stitch. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going along, making sure I have the awl blade at a 45 degree angle when I push it through the hole. And then once I've got it through, I'll wiggle it to get it out. 
and then the stitching is just the same we've done in the last two examples And when you're pushing the all through, you just want to make sure that your finger isn't on the other side of the leather so it doesn't get spiked. Okay, so to do this back stitch, I'm just gonna use the round all to open up the holes because what happens if you use a diamond all because it's like a blade it actually can cut the stitching and then it will come undone a round all won't do that so just to open up the hole I just used the round all and we're done Okay, so here's the stitching from today's video. The top row was done with the pricking irons, the second last row was done with the round all, and the last row was done with a diamond all. The second top row was also done with a diamond all, but because I stuffed it up so much in this video, I just decided to do it again doing this row. I personally like the way the pricking irons look, but here's all the other ways, and you can decide which way you like the best. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you've got any ideas for anything I can make in the future just leave them down in the comments, I'll be reading through them and have a great rest of your day.